Chapter 8.1 Conic Sections and Parabolas. This will correspond with Learning Target 9.1. We'll be looking at conic sections in general and specifically the geometry of a parabola and translations of parabolas. In class we'll be looking more at the reflective property of a parabola and, and parab conic sections in nature. We're going to start off with conic sections and what they are. If you take two intersecting lines, so they're non-parallel, so here's one right there and here's the other one there, and we're rotating one around the other. This is the intersection point here. What we get is two cones, a top cone and a lower one, that are actually called naps. And this is where the cone, the conic sections, comes from. Looking at the sections of the cones, this is where if we take a plane and slice into the cone, these are the shapes that we get. This is an ellipse, if we slice it in on an angle here. If we go to a greater angle, we'll get a parabola. If we go vertically and slice both cones, the top and the bottom, we get hyperbolas. We also have what are called degenerate conic sections. Some of you can relate to de degenerates more than others. But these are generally not what we refer to when we're studying conic sections. If we have that point, that plane going right through the, the vertex of the cones, we'll get a single point. If we take the plane and, and slide it right along the edge of the cone, we'll get a single line. Or if we go right down the middle, we'll get intersecting lines. And these are not the conic sections that we will be studying in this standard. Conic sections are two second degree equations with two variables. So all of the equations that we will be studying in these conic sections can be derived from this large equation here. Uh, just some of the variables, a, b, and c, will be zero in a variety of the different conic sections. But they all have two variables, x squared, y squared. It's all second degree. And then some sort of combination of variables and constants. We're going to be looking at parabolas in general. So what is a parabola? A parabola is a set of all points in a plane that are equidistant from a perp perpendicular line, from, sorry, a particular line. So if we take this a line, we're going to call it the directrix. And a point, so we have the line and the point. And every point that is equidistant between the focus and the directrix will make up a parabola. So here's our parabola. We have the focus. This point is equal in distance from the directrix and the focus. So if we have our standard form, our graph in the form of x squared equals 4py, we can have it opening up or opening down. We have our directrix. If it's opening down, the directrix will be above. If it's opening up, the directrix is below. We have and we have our focus. A plural of focus is foci. So we have a focus over here and another one there. So together we have two foci. So here's our the information. The standard equation is x squared equals 4py. So this equation will open up or down, depending on whether it's positive or negative. The focus is 0p. So the x is 0 
and the y will be p. The directrix, which is the line, is going to be y, the, the equation of that line with y equals negative p. Finding p in parabolas is very important. Once we found p, we can get a whole lot of information. Because we get the focus there, we get the directrix. The axis is going to be y, the y-axis, or x is equal to 0. And remembering that will help later on the translation. The focal length, there's our p again. The focal length is p. That means how far away from the vertex is the focus. And then the width, how wide is the parabola, is the absolute value of 4p. So take a few minutes, copy this into your notes. Let's look again here at what we have. We have our directrix, y equals negative p. Our focus is at 0p. The distance from the vertex to the focus is p. And from the origin or the vertex to the directrix is also p. Now let's look at graphs of y squared equals 4px. We were looking at x squared equals 4py. Now this is y squared equals 4px. So they're opening left and right. We still have everything else in place. We have the directrix. We have the vertex. We have the focus. Just opening left and what right. So here's the equation. The vertex is 0, 0. Our standard equation, y squared equals 4px, it's opening left or right. The focus this time will be p0, p for the x, 0 for the y. The directrix this time is the x value, x equals negative p. It's still dealing with p, but it's x equals negative p this time. The axis is the x-axis, which remember is y equals 0. If you put that in your notes also, it'll help you later. And the focal length is the same. It's p, and the focal width, width is also the same, the absolute value of 4p. So looking again at these graphs, we have the directrix x equals negative p, the focus p0, the distance from the vertex to the focus is p, and from the vertex to the directrix is p. So now we're going to take that information and we're going to find an, equ an equation of a parabola. We're going to find the equation in standard form for the parabola. If the directrix is the line x equals 3, and the focus is the point negative 3, 0. First thing you want to do when you are starting out is to draw a sketch here. Here's my x-axis, or sorry, my y-axis and the x-axis. The directrix x equals 3 is right here. That's my directrix. The focus is the point negative 3, 0. So once we know where the focus is, and once we know where the focus is, the parabola is going to open away from the directrix. So this parabola is opening to the left. So because the directrix is x equals 3 and the focus is negative 3, 0, the focal length is negative 3, the parabola opens to the left. So we can just plug it in, y squared equals 4px. We know that the focal length is negative 3. So we have 4 times negative 3 gives us negative 12, so y squared equals negative 12x. Once you know your p, you can plug it in to many, many equations there. 
try this. Find the equation of the parabola with a vertex 0, 0 that opens to the left and has a focal width of 8. Use the toolbox, the information that, that you wrote down in your notes. Draw a sketch so you know that it, what it looks like, which side of the toolbox we're using. Solve for P and then put that into the equation and we'll talk about that in class. Pause the video while you're working this out. Now we have parabolas with a vertex HK, meaning it's not at 0, 0. So our standard equation, x minus h squared, so the h always corresponds with the x, x minus h squared, there's our 4p again, y minus k. So when we had it at the vertex 0, 0, it was x minus 0 equals 4p, y minus 0. Now we're going to shift it. If we're doing it with the y squared, the h and the k still correspond with x and y, so we have y minus k squared equals 4p x minus h. So the rest of the information, well, that's not true. I was going to say the rest of the information is all the same, but with some exceptions. This one here with the x is still going to open up or down and y squared is still going to open to the left or right. Here we have to add the p, we're opening up or down, so we're raising it up or down. So we're adding the p to the y value. Here we're moving it left and right, so we're adding it to the x value. The directrix here is k minus p, we're moving, moving it up or down. Here we're moving it left or right, so x equals h minus p. The axis, we had the um, x-axis and the y-axis when it was at 0, 0, now we have x equals h and y equals k. Focal length and focal width do not change. So finding an equation with a, of a parabola, not at 0, 0. We want to find the standard form of the equation for a parabola with vertex at 1, 2 and focus at 1, negative 2. First thing I want you to do is pause the video and draw a sketch. From that sketch you'll see the parabola is opening downwards, so the equation will have the form x minus h squared equals 4p y minus k. hk, the vertex, is 1, 2. The distance between the vertex and the focus is p equals 4. So because we're going from the distance between the vertex and 2 and negative 2, the distance between the two of those is 4. So that's our p. So the equation is x minus 1 equals negative 16 because we're opening downwards, this is 4p, we're opening downwards so it's negative, 4 times 4 is 16, negative 16, y minus 2. And the minus 2 comes from the vertex. Try this one. Find the equation of a parabola with vertex 3, 5 and directrix at y equals 7. First thing you want to do is draw a sketch. Use the toolbox. Solve for p by using the information about the directrix and plug it into the equation. And we'll talk about it in class. So to get some practice before class, please in your books work out the problems 1 through 29 every other odd. This will give you some practice and understanding the, the basics of the parabolas and how to find the equations. And for two dollars please deposit seven quarters. Thank you. See you in class.